Well, thank you very much. It's great to be with the President of Iraq. And we are obviously working on a lot of things together. We're working on military. We're working on ISIS. We're working on — we have a whole host of uh, very difficult uh, things to discuss and some very positive things also. And uh, we've been friends, and the relationship is very good. And I just want to thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you. It's an important opportunity to meet President Trump to talk about the developments in our neighborhood. These are challenging times, difficult times, and I look for a very fruitful and candid conversation with the President. Uh, we have had an enduring relationship, and the United States has been a partner to Iraq and in the war against ISIS. This mission needs to be accomplished, and I believe you and I share the same mission for a stable, sovereign Iraq that is at peace with itself and at peace with its neighbors. Right. Thank you very much. What is the plan for flying out U.S. troops from Iraq? Well, we're talking about a lot of different things, and uh, you'll be hearing whatever we do, but uh, they like what we're doing, and we like them, and we've had a, a very good relationship. I can only speak for my administration. I won't speak for past administrations, frankly, but we've had a very good relationship. And we're down to a very low number. We're down to 5,000, so we're down to a very low number, historically low, and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, Mr. Are you still considering sanctions against Iraq? We'll see what happens. Because we do have to do things on our terms. We have a lot of common interests to fight against extremism, stability in the right. neighborhood, a sovereign Iraq that is stable, friends of the neighbors, and friends of the United States. And we're also involved with them in their oil business. And uh, that's always been very important from their standpoint and from our standpoint. So we have a lot of very positive things to talk about. But we are down to a low number. And we've been there for quite a while, so we'll make a determination. Okay. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to do a news conference today. Uh, we have one other meeting, and then we're going to be doing a news conference right after this. So that'll be, I would say, within the next 45 minutes. Yeah, before leaving. We're going to be leaving in a little while. Uh, we've had tremendous success in Davos, and uh, we'll be leaving in a little while. But we'll do a news conference, a quick news conference, and uh, then we head back. Some of you are coming on a very nice plane. Okay? So I'll see you in a little while. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Please hit the like, subscribe button, and share with your fellow Denarian friends to help support our channel. Believe me, it makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. I thank you. I would like to take a moment and congratulate President Trump for doing a great job in Davos this week. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall and heard what went on behind closed doors over there. I am sure the President took care of business for us, let's see how the next few weeks play out. I bet things all of a sudden start moving a bit faster. Time will tell. Be sure to check out our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner voted the number one pre and post rv planning tool for the dinar community use the promo code the denarian and get 25 percent off along with the newly upgraded mobile application added free for my subscribers go check out a tour of both the mobile application and the desktop planner on the website i am also recommending you register as an affiliate today with the carrot bar gold savings program the gold program made for the financially challenged as I like to call it. It makes saving physical gold easy and affordable for everyone. Now is the time to get involved if you have not already done so. Both the links to the currency exchange planner as well as the carrot bar gold savings program are in the description box below. First article of interest for today, Trump's president, Iraq is keen to establish balanced relations with all. The President of the Republic, Baram Sali, confirmed today, Wednesday, to the American President, that the Iraqi government is keen to establish balanced relations with all, while the two sides discussed reducing the American forces in Iraq. A statement issued by the President's office received, al a copy of it, that Sali met today with U.S. President Donald Trump to discuss international issues and events in the region noting that the meeting came within the schedule of a series of daily meetings with a number of leaders and heads of state. He, 
noted that Saleh held in-depth discussions with Trump on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, stressing the need to intensify international efforts to establish security and stability at the international and regional levels. He pointed out that consolidating and strengthening them is the only way to ensure the achievement of a comprehensive peace in the region, stressing that Iraq is keen to establish balanced relations with all friends and allies in a manner that enhances its sovereignty and respect for its independent decision and realizes the interests of the Iraqi people, and to continue economic development and reconstruction and not to allow it to be transformed. Iraq into an arena for conflict and settling accounts. For his part, the American president renewed his country's support for the stability of Iraq and its keenness on strengthening common relations and expanding the volume of cooperation between Iraq and the United States in a manner that serves the interests of the two peoples, valuing the pivotal Iraqi role in the region. The statement pointed out that the two sides examined the presence and reduction of foreign forces in the country and the importance of respecting the demands of the Iraqi people in preserving national sovereignty and ensuring security and stability. Next article of interest. Saleh supports the survival of the U.S. forces. He spoke to Trump and Davos about the continued partnership in the fight against ISIS. U.S. President Donald Trump confirmed, on Wednesday, that his country will continue military cooperation with Iraq. We will continue our military cooperation with Iraq and we have worked against ISIS, Trump said during a meeting with President Barim Saleh on the sidelines of the Davos Forum. For his part, Saleh said, We have a partnership with the United States in combating ISIS, and the mission must be completed, referring to his support for the U.S. forces staying in Iraq. Obelisk publishes the text of the visit statement. The President of the Republic meets with the American President to discuss international issues and events in the region. Within the schedule of his daily meetings with a number of leaders and heads of state, Mr. Baram Saleh, President of the Republic, Dr. Baram Saleh, today, Wednesday, 22 January 2020, held in-depth talks with U.S. President Donald Trump on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos. Mr. President stressed the need to intensify international efforts to establish security and stability at the international and regional levels, pointing out that consolidating and strengthening them is the only way to ensure the achievement of a comprehensive peace in the region. The President of the Republic added that Iraq is keen to establish balanced relations with all friends and allies in a manner that enhances its sovereignty and respect for its independent decision and achieves the interests of the Iraqi people, and to continue economic development and reconstruction and not to allow Iraq to turn into an arena for conflict and settling scores. In his turn, the American President renewed his country's support for the stability of Iraq and its keenness on strengthening common relations and expanding the volume of cooperation between Iraq and the United States to serve the interests of the two peoples, valuing the central Iraqi role in the region. During the meeting, the presence and reduction of foreign forces in the country were studied, and the importance of respecting the demands of the Iraqi people in preserving national sovereignty and ensuring security and stability. Next article of interest. A deputy reveals the features of a political agreement to end the crisis of naming the Prime Minister before the end of this week. On Wednesday, January 22, 2020, MP Abdel Khalik Halazawi revealed the features of the comprehensive agreement between the political forces to get the country out of its current crises, while the competition for the nomination of the candidate for Prime Minister was currently limited to three personalities. Al-Azawi said in an interview with Baghdad Today, that all Iraqi political forces agree on the step of holding early elections in the country as the best solution to get out of the current crises, but according to specific controls. Al-Azawi added, the specific controls are to create the atmosphere for contesting the elections through a safe and stable environment and conditions suitable for the work of the commission and its offices and all governorates in addition to returning all the displaced to their liberated areas, and this we consider is very important to ensure their participation in voting and choosing their representatives.
Al-Azawi pointed out that the early elections are unanimous by all political forces as they have become a pathway to the beginning of solutions to the Iraqi crises, noting that three candidates are currently discussing the assumption of the position of the next prime minister, including a judge. Al-Azawi added, the decision will be at any moment, but within the limits of this week, according to our vision of the political scene. And a well-informed source revealed, Monday 20th January 2020, that a new name has entered the line of candidates for the transitional government, in addition to three names that entered the competition earlier. The source said in an interview with Baghdad Today, that there are four names currently nominated for the post, Ali Shakri, Mustafa Akazemi and Muhammad Tafiq Alawi, to whom I finally add Ali Abdul Amir Alawi. He added, Ali Abdul Amir Alawi went from Beirut to Baghdad urgently to meet the President of the Republic, Baram Sali, noting that the announcement of the nomination of one of the four candidates for the post will be made soon. Next article of interest. His office reveals details of Barzana's meeting with U.S. President Trump. The media office of the President of the Kurdistan region, Negrivan Barzani, revealed on Wednesday the details of the meeting that gathered the latter with U.S. President Donald Trump, on the sidelines of the Davos Forum in Switzerland. The office of the Kurdistan region and the American president met in Davos, and during the meeting, they discussed the situation in Iraq in general, and ways to enhance the relations of the Kurdistan region with the United States, in particular, is cooperation in the energy field, herbal Baghdad relations, the dangers of the re-emergence of terrorism and ways to confront it, the conditions of the region in general, the relations of the Kurdistan region with the countries of the region and the Syrian situation. During the meeting, Trump described the people of Kurdistan as the great people, adding, we owe it to them. And he expressed, America's thanks and appreciation for the role of the Kurdistan region and the Peshmerga in defeating ISIS and protecting religious and national components in Kurdistan. For his part, Barzani, on behalf of the people of Kurdistan, expressed thanks and appreciation to President Trump and America for their support to the Kurdistan region during the war against ISIS, stressing that terrorism is still a real threat to the region, so it is important for the international coalition to continue its missions in it. In another axis of the meeting, Barzani presented an overview of the Kurdistan region from the 1991 uprising until the liberation of Iraq and the stages that followed in 2003, the role of the Kurdistan region in rebuilding the new Iraq and the desire of the Kurdistan region to further strengthen its relations with America in various fields. And U.S. President Donald Trump held two meetings on the sidelines of the Davos Economic Forum, Switzerland with Iraqi President Baram Sali and the President of the Kurdistan region, Negervan Barzani. Next article of interest, digital dollar not derivative of fiat, will be backed like legal tender. Back in October 2019, when J. Christopher Jane Carlo, former CFDC chairman, wrote an op-ed for the Wall Street Journal that proposed blockchain-based digital cash to tackle the issue of the declining U.S. dollar, it garnered a lot of attention. Today, the global financial space is no longer new to the idea of a CBDC, with China prepping to launch its own DCEP sometime this year, a development that has stirred quite a lot of discussion around the world. What Jane Carlo once proposed is today, a real project, after it was recently announced that the former CFDC chair, along with the former lab CFDC director Daniel Gorefine and investor Charles Jane Carlo, we're forming the Digital Dollar Foundation. The foundation has reportedly entered into a partnership with Accenture to push for a potential U.S. central bank digital currency. And, although it will be supported by the Federal Reserve and other stakeholders, the foundation won't be waiting for a green signal from the United States Central Banking Institution. Christopher Jane Carlo recently spoke about the Digital Dollar Initiative at the Blockchain Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. To begin the conversation, Jane Carlo claimed that he believes that despite being in the 21st century, the modern-day financial system is still based on the norms of the 20th century, one that does not allocate space to technological innovations. He said, 
I believe that the users of the dollar, whether they be U.S. domestic retail users or the global economy itself are underserved by an analog currency in a digital world. Expanding on the Digital Dollar Initiative, the former CFDC chair said that the primary objective right now is to marshal resources in the private sector in order to carry forward constructive thinking and conceptualization. According to Jane Carlo, the digital dollar will not be a derivative of the fiat dollar and it will be backed by the full credibility of the U.S. government, just like a legal tender. He added, it would be made available to users through traditional banking systems and other can enterprises but will enjoy the full faith and credit. After his keynote speech, Zhang Carla was also questioned about China's development of its own CBDC and whether the box rapid development could actually be a threat to the dominance of the U.S. dollar. Zhang Carlo responded that the purpose behind the creation of the digital dollar is not to compete with a digital yuan or digital euro. He conveyed that it is necessary to keep pace with the changing financial system of the world, one where digitization would supplant an analog role as an analog fiat currency cannot serve in the digital world. Further, the former CFDC chair reiterated that it is not necessary to be the first CBDC in the market. Instead, it's more important to make sure that the digital dollar gets all the different mechanisms and dynamics right before facilitating a launch. The United States and China's central bank are not the only ones focusing on such a project at the moment as according to recent reports, the Bank of England is also contemplating a Bitcoin-style digital asset. Bank officials from the BOA are set to meet representatives from the Bank of Japan, the European Central Bank, ECB, the Sveriges Riksbank, the Bank of Canada, the Swiss National Bank, and the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, to gather data and opinions, while evaluating the potential for a combined CBDC. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog and find me on Facebook to view a lot more of today's articles. Take a moment and visit our sponsor, the Currency Exchange Planner. Use the promo code, the Denarian, to get 25% off at checkout along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Also, registered as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program today. If you do not keep your savings in an real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold today. I know what you're thinking, gold is too expensive, this program is made so low-income people can afford to buy gold in small increments, which makes it affordable to everyone. Get involved today, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. You can always transfer gold into any kind of fiat money you want or need, the gold will always be in your possession not the banks. Above all the gold will retain its purchasing power in good times as well as bad the dollar will not. Ask yourself this. Why are all the central banks loading up on gold lately and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected today, before it's too late. Both of the links are available in the description box below this video. Knowledge is power. Over and out for now. The Denarian.